So like I said, build a friendship with God. Like that's it. Hearing God is about being friends with God. It's about having this intimate dialogue with him. It's about What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to give you three tips on hearing the voice of God clearly in your life. So tip number one, it's an obvious one, but it can never be overstated. And if you are lacking this, this is where the origin of the voice of God will be in your life. It's spending alone time with Jesus. You could only hear somebody when you give your undivided attention to them. So the more time you give focused and just simply being with God. So when we're talking about spending time with him, we're not necessarily saying, read the Bible, say your prayers, you know, do this, do that. I'm saying spend time with Jesus. Now, you could have certain ways you spend time with Jesus, but remember, Jesus is a person. He's not a formula. There's no formula you fulfill to get God to come and do something. You simply be with him. You simply come to him. Every saint in the Bible, when it came to an encounter with God, all they had to say was, here I am. And the simple here I am is what drew God to come and be who he is. So remember, you can't manipulate God to do anything. So in hearing God, my tip isn't do this so that you can hear God. No, come to him and trust him that he will say, do and be exactly what you need. And if it offends you, and if it doesn't look so glamorous, or if it's not a crazy experience, simply love him, simply adore and worship him because he's worthy. And in doing so, he will take delight in you and he will pour out himself over you and he will love on you and lavish himself on you. That's just who he is. So let him come and be himself. So tip number one, if you wanna hear God, just be with him. Just give your time to him. You know, set aside that 30 minutes, that hour with him. Just honestly, the longer time you can, and it's not all about the time, but the longer time you can just simply give your attention and devote devotion to him, this will definitely increase your chances of hearing him because he'll come and he'll do things and he'll change things and he'll speak things, you know? And uh, all you gotta do is be a recipient of grace, of truth, of his presence, you know? So tip number two to hearing God is awareness. So now after you, you've given yourself to God in the secret place and now you're building a one-on-one -on -one relationship with him, you know, the closer you are to someone in private, the more comfortable you are with them in public. So now as you go on in your day in doing your daily duties, whether it's work or different, whatever, chores, whatever, you go on during the day and that simple turning and awareness you, you have towards him brings his presence, it attracts him. It, it just like, he de begins to delight in you. So it's this posture of faith and expectancy that you have to meet him in all places at all times. Let me tell you, if you don't spend, if you don't do tip number one, you probably won't have tip number two because you'll have no residue of faith that comes from the secret place. But his word, when we dwell in his word, when we are in the scriptures, and what I was saying about tip number one, absolutely read your word, absolutely pray, absolutely do, do what you know, but be surrendered in how you spend your time with God. It's, I'm just saying like, cause a lot of times people just make God a formula and a check mark like, oh, I did my devotions. It's so much more than that. It's he's a person to be known and interacted with and loved on and he wants to build this relationship with you. So know that. So in number two, after you did number one, in number two, you begin to have this faith and 
you begin to see God all around you. You begin to realize how he wants to speak to you in the things around you. And this is, this is where it begins to unfold, where this kind of goes into tip number three, where it's actually a history that you're building with God, where now the voice of God is speaking to you through many different avenues. So for me, in my personal life, there are certain animals that are the voice of God to me. One, for instance, is a peacock. You know, whenever I see peacocks, but this originated a few years ago, I was spending time in the secret place and I saw a vision of a peacock. And that same day we were out evangelizing and we ran into this little cage place where there used to be a peacock. And I was like, holy moly, I did see God. God did speak to me. All right, what else do you want to say? And over these years, Peacock has been the voice of God to me because I found it in the secret place. And now in the public place, I can hear God through these ways because it's an actual experience I've had alone with God that now is being overflowed. So build your history with God. Acknowledge that God is building something by his voice and by his presence in your life and be aware of even the smallest things. Those are seeds that he's planting to grow up the garden of your heart into something beautiful and amazing. In John 16, I believe he says, I have many things to tell you, but you can't bear them. So first of all, we know that God has a lot to speak about. If you're not hearing God, you probably can't bear the words he wants to speak. That's why we start with the small things. That's why he wants you He wants you to be faithful in the secret place. He wants you to be faithful just to come to him, even without the intentions of hearing him. And obviously we come in faith and expectancy to hear him, but what if he doesn't? You know, like it, we have to rest in the fact that he will give us exactly what we need when we come to him. And that's the faith and trust we give to him, that he is good every time we come and he's gonna give us the best. So with tip number one, devotion, spending alone time with Jesus. Tip number two is expectation. It's faith that arises in your heart as you go day to day. And as you begin to seek, ask, seek and knock, and you begin to see God speak to you through so many different avenues. And the tip number three is the history you have in hearing God. It's building. Know, know that the voice of God is is building blocks that's building your life and the more you hear God the more it's layer upon layer brick upon brick you know that you're building your life to actually comprehend God in fullness in greater ways in greater measures you know but it starts small guys it starts very itsy bitsy you know and we we just we we want sometimes the grandiose but no like God wants to speak to you that small little nugget, that small little truth, that, that revelation that clips your heart. Let that clip your heart. Let it rest. Let that, let that seed of his voice come into your heart and let, let, the, let what God does in the secret place lead you into the public place and lead you to hearing God and expecting his voice in all the areas of life. So bless you guys to spend more time with Jesus. Do it. It's amazing. Enjoy him. Just, just simply enjoy him. If you just simply enjoy him, you will actually, actually, this is actually a bonus tip. Sorry, bonus tip. If you enjoy God, actually, I've seen this work in my life. When I am relaxed, that's actually where I hear God the most. When I'm at rest, when I'm just like, just cast all my cares on him. I'm not trying to bring the prayer list. I'm not trying to make something happen. I'm just like, just, I'll just be with you. Like speak or not speak, I love you. And I just be with you and in that place of just like just he comes and he speaks and he does things and he begins the dialogue you can't force God to speak but he'll speak because he wants to so just open your ears and just come to him and love on him there you go simple right pretty I think I think that's pretty simple if you don't ask a question below I'll try to answer it. Um, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. You guys are you guys are amazing. Thanks for being part of Jesus Manifesto. We'll be knocking these out. If you've enjoyed this video, just share it with somebody. Shoot them a link to this 
little video. I hope it helped somebody. If you have any questions, comment down below. And if you're not subscribed, just subscribe to the channel and uh, join Jesus Manifesto. We are the Jesus people. We are in this thing together to see how much of Jesus we can see. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.